one vow here and it's saturday so it's time for my fitness update um as you know i use the my fitness pal app on my phone to track my calories every week um my fitness pal gives me a little over 1500 calories daily um and you can put in what you're eating um it can track any store like subway wrap you put in what kind of wrap you're having and it'll tell you how many calories it is uh, so this app is really good about um, showing you your calories and how much fat and how much sugar and it'll say your sugar intake for the day should be this amount you uh this has this amount in it so it'll, it'll kind of keep you on track with your sugar and your fat and everything else that you're eating so i started the week at 188.4 and I weighed in this morning at 186.6 so I had a loss this week of 1.8 calories which I'm very happy with I will take that I'm going to keep trying next week to stay on track and lose a little bit more I'd like to get down to 180 by the end of November I think that's realistic to lose six more pounds um, by the end of November right that's what i said okay so at least six to ten pounds i would hope um because as you know we're going on another cruise the day after christmas we're leaving on vacation for a couple of weeks and um i just really want to drop some weight because i'm not even gonna lie i'm gonna gain weight on vacation it's just there's no way around it so i just know the way i eat i know that the food is really good on cruise ships the food is all around you all the time and i'm on vacation and i'm going to try to make healthy choices but i know there's also going to be some bad choices in there so i'm happy with my weight loss for the week i haven't been doing any walking i'm still fighting my knee i have arthritis in my knees and i have an um, my right knee is really really bothering me right now not sure what's going on with it but uh, probably going to end up having to go and visit the doctor in another week if it doesn't get any better and it doesn't seem like it's getting any better so um just walking makes my knee swell and um, it hasn't been that way in years so um, i'm not sure what i did to it but i've irritated it so so anyway i want to bring you a my fitness pal tips for the day and i have pulled up on my computer um 21 healthy snacks under 200 calories so it was talking about fighting hunger and what you can eat that's healthy if you feel like you're hungry but um, assess your hunger are you just eating out of boredom or are you eating because you're really hungry um, to think about real how hungry are you really um, so if you just want a little something to tide you over a little snack or something they they give us 200 uh, they give us uh, 10 healthy snacks that people um, have sent in to them that said that that's what they do when they feel hungry so the first one is and i'm going to be reading it off my laptop apple slices sprinkled with cinnamon and stevia then grilled on a george foreman tastes like caramel apples um, and this serving size they say is two medium apples and that's under 200 calories Everything that I'm going to say here is under 200 calories. If they give me a calorie count, I'll let you know that. Uh, peanut butter and banana. Uh, one tablespoon of peanut butter and one medium banana. Uh, cottage cheese, sometimes with peaches. Uh, That's what one uh, person participating said. Four ounces of whole milk cottage cheese and one large peach. Um... Then Julie N says, one of my favorite and I had midday that I had midday today is an apple that's 159 grams and almonds 14 grams and 100, uh, 462 calories. That's one small apple and 12 almonds. And almonds are pretty healthy for you, I think. All right, the fifth suggestion is two ounces of smoked salmon. Wrapped up with dill and scallions, and that's two ounces of smoked salmon, one medium scallion, and a pinch of dill. All right. 
Number six is from Eric B. And he says, uh, many string, uh, two string cheese sticks. Many, however, many cheese, string cheeses I get for that amount of calories. However, many string cheeses I can get for that many of calories. So they're, they're trying to keep it under 200 calories. One bag, bag petite baby carrots, 35 calories, some broccoli tops and or cucumber slices with ranch Greek yogurt dip called Halava Good Dip. That's by Beth L. And the serving size is 10 baby carrots, two cups of broccoli tops or cucumber slices, and three tables or two tablespoons of the, the ranch dip. Uh, the next suggestion was from Amanda L. A bag, a snack bag of Skinny Pop popcorn. It's 100 calories. Um, number 10 is from Louis M. He said, one cup of multigrain Cheerios, Cheerios and a cup of silk almond unsweet milk. Now, I, I have the um, multigrain Cheerios that are gluten-free. I eat for breakfast every morning about a cup and a half of those with 2% uh, milk. And I don't drink much of the milk out of the cereal. I don't eat much of the milk out of the cereal. Um, but that's what I have for breakfast every day. And that seems to be working for me as far as it keeps my hunger down in the morning. And um, it's fairly healthy. doesn't have that many calories in it. Or sugar. Um... Jessica R. says she uses Danon Oko's Triple Zero Yogurt, 120 calories, 15 grams of protein, and it fills her up. Uh, Angela C. said she uses roasted pumpkin seeds, 125 calories, and they have a lot of protein. Um, one ounce is 85 seeds for pumpkin seeds, and that's one serving. Um, Sarah P. said she eats the Natural Valley chocolate peanut butter protein bars. They're low in sugar and high in protein. One Nature Valley protein bar is under 200 calories. Peggy H. says she eats dry roasted light salted edamame. Edamame? I don't know what that is. And Edmami? Delicious, 130 calories for a fourth cup. Takes forever to munch through them. Lots of protein and healthy plant fats hold you to the next meal. One fourth cup of roasted edamame. I don't even know what that is. Um, Holly F. said she eats Sar Sargento cheese and nut snacks. They fill you up. For about 170 to 190 calories, one pack is a serving. Uh, Maxim, Maxine R. says she eats tuna with water crackers and sriracha. Three ounces of chunk tuna and ten saltine square crackers. And the last one I have is from Lena Laney H. And she said she has... Sage whole milk Skylar yogurt with kind K I N D cinnamon granola. One single serving, 5.3 ounces whole milk yogurt plus three tablespoons of the cinnamon oat crunch granola. And that is under 200 calories. So those are some suggestions. If you are looking for some suggestions of things that are healthy to munch on, um, my fitness pal sends me emails with um, different articles in them. And I thought that on the day that I do my weight update, I will share some of the articles with you. Um, see if they're helpful at all. If they're not... Um, Coming up, I am uh, getting ready for Halloween, so I will probably be doing a Halloween video, at least one coming up um, next weekend when we have our trunk or treat at our church. 
Uh, other things going on that I'm not going to mention in this video, but I'll um, mention them in a video coming up. And then I do have um, for Monday's video, I have the update on my skin. So I'm going to have some comparison pictures of before I started using the products and the one month after I started using them. And see if you can see any differences in my skin. I do in a couple of places if my skin feels different. But we'll go into that in that video. So thank you for watching. Give me a thumbs up. Let me know how you're doing with your weight loss. I had a good week. 1.8 is good for me. I'll take it. It's better than a gain. I've had a gain the last two weeks. So, uh, Subscribe if you're not subscribed and you want to. And I'll catch you on the next video. Thank you, everybody. Bye now.